Thanks for clicking on the video and welcome back to the channel. Don't say pot calling in the kettle black here because I know I said I wasn't going to get a quilt. But I've decided I need to try one. I've just come back from the Isle of Sky. I was a little bit claustrophobic in my sleeping bag. Um, I was a little bit hot at times. I ended up using it like a quilt and thinking, God, I've got all this extra material here that I don't need. And I'd looked at the Catabatic Flex 30 for a while, but I could only find it in Europe in green and I didn't really want the green. No reason, just I thought I might want to use a quilt in the house and things in the winter. So I didn't really want an outdoor color for that. But anyway, uh, Outdoorline.sk, I think it is, had one in the grey blue colour and I bit the bullet and ordered it. So, this is the Catabatic Flex 30. It's just arrived, very nicely packaged. I bought a lot of gear from Outdoorline SK, really good company and always arrives on time, never any problems. So, if you're in the market for ultralight gear, Outdoor Lane SK should definitely be on your list. So I'll be very careful with this knife I've got here, not to uh, put it inside the box, of course. So this is really just a first unboxing video, first look. The, the last thing I did this with was my um, Atom Mo 50 sitting in this very same sofa so let's see what it's like it's going to be a little bit careful this knife here there we go that has not caused any problems ho, ho, ho. so i've gone for the 30 opposed to the 22 there's not really that much difference in fill and weight to be honest between the 30 and the 22 um i very rarely camp below zero um i read all the reviews and most people say the 30 which is a minus one rated quilt it's a very accurate comfort rating and most people in the reviews say it actually exceeds the uh, 30 degree rating anyway so i thought i would just go for that Oh, here it is. It's very nicely taped up here. Really good job of Peter at SK Outdoors. And that's what we've got. Anything in the box? Well, we get a couple of stickers, outdoor line and uh, cut the bag as well. I do like a sticker or two. Uh, an invoice. Well, that's not the best bit because the wife saw the amount coming out of the bank and hit the roof. And uh, yes, a nice little personalised note there from uh, Peter at SK Outdoors, which is always nice. I've kept all of my cards I've got with my atom packs as well. So it's always nice to have that little bit of uh, personalization on the service. So this is the Flex 30 in the what's advertised as the gray or steel blue color. Let's open this tape here on the end. Being very careful with the knife. Here it is. So something else just fell out here. It comes with its own catabatic storage sack there, which is in a grey material. Very nice. We've got some instructions there that I haven't looked at yet. The cord lock system that goes on the pad. I'll look at that in the future. Got some webbing straps there. And of course the uh, nylon stuff sack which you can use in your backpack although to be honest I 
much prefer the Sea to Summit Sil Nylon compressible stuff sack that's got the compression stacks down it. So I'll probably not use that to be fair. So here it is, the Catapad Gear Flex 30, and this is the 900 Exped Dry Down version. So 900, it's virtually getting onto that 1000 fill rated down that I've got in my uh, jacket, which I've used on the Tour de Mont Blanc, which is a Mont Bell Plasma which is a very light jacket and as soon as you put that on you feel the heat coming through it. So I'm not going to get this out very much here but here it is. Oh it's just like it's so nicely made I can see just as soon as I open it up here. The only thing people have said is why is there not a little tab or something over that zip there to stop the zip going down but that should be fine it's got the press stud on the top you can feel how lofty it is actually now if you're interested in knowing I actually thought this stitch line down here uh, was to actually separate these baffles into three but it's not it's actually just where the where the fabrics joined so that is a that is an open baffle so I have heard people say you can actually shake the down around to where you want but that's it there width wise that's the wide at least I'm hoping so should be 140 wide that and that's it there. I feel like I just need to pack my backpack up and get off camping now. So that's it guys. That is the first opening of the Catabatic Flex 30. It feels absolutely fantastic. I need to have a good look at it, but quality wise, it just seems like second to none. You know, up there with the likes of your Cumulus and other cottage industries. Got the press stud on the bottom there. You can zip that up like that. Yep, really good. There's a tag here, it should have the size on it, I imagine. Yep, it's a six foot six wide version. So, anyway. I'll do a full review on it once I've actually got out and used it and um, fathomed out was it worth spending the money on the quilt, do I like it, is it working, so on and so forth. But there we go, that's the Catabatic 30 and once again thanks for clicking on the video, if you like my videos don't forget to click and subscribe. See you later!